So here is a typical setup where various systems are connected to internet and you have an internet subscriber who is getting internet services through an ISP. So along with other settings, the user configures the ISP provider's DNS or name server settings within his internet configuration. Now if the user opens a page or website abc.com, first a DNS resolution happens as the DNS request is addressed by the DNS server. For the given requested domain name, in this case abc.com, the DNS server provides the corresponding public internet IP address of the website or domain requested for. Now the browser sends the HTTP GET packet to the web server to which it gets the requested page. And if there are many users sharing the same internet connection, in that case this can be optimized with the help of a local DNS caching server as shown. If the requested domain name does not exist in the DNS caching server, the request is passed on to the external DNS server. Upon its reply, it is saved to the local DNS caching server and forwarded to the requested client or the browser. The browser then gets the page from the corresponding website. But if there are many users accessing through the same website and reading multiple pages from the site such as abc.com, then since this domain is already cached in the local DNS caching server, all these users get their individual DNS resolution requests answered by the local caching server itself. Finally, after this, they get their requested page from the website. 